So um, lunge pose and Jani Asana, as I said, one of my favourites because it really encourages optimal fetal positioning. And this is, this is the perfect way to do lunge. And you don't need to do anything more than that to get the effect of promoting optimal fetal positioning. But you can go a little bit further with the arms extended if you want. Okay, but so someone with high blood pressure, you'd keep the hands on the hips. Someone with an unstable pelvis, keep the hands on the hips. Don't have such a wide distance. Um, but if someone doesn't have anything just pregnant, then I actually get them to extend the arms and just have the palms facing each other. Okay? Unstable pelvis, this variation is fine. Yes, but no further than this. Yeah. Because you've got a nice stable, you've got hips in alignment, you're not twisting, yeah, that kind of thing. So yeah, you can do this one. I've been getting into this pose. I have I have two synthesis. Yes. And this is it. Getting into the pose is quite difficult. Exactly. Right, exactly. Because you know what it is? It's the lifting of the leg. It's the weight bearing, which is why, you know, when you said pushing up, the person who's got the symphysis pubis, no way would be able to do that because they just don't have. So if you've got someone who does have, okay, um, a little bit of unstable pelvis to go into the lunge, you need to get them to do this. And they need to move like this, really slowly, okay? So once they're in it and they're holding it, they're fine, okay? But coming out of it, again, you've got to, and sometimes I used to do this as a nice little stretch after this one. It's a nice one. But it's actually, so it's coming out. So you need to do this. Is this how you did it? Did your teacher do this? Yeah. So you just need to do it like that. And so they need to just come up like this, just nice and slow, nice and steady. Okay. Um, and once again, it's like this. Yeah, you do. And uh, if you, the people who've got unstable pelvis, the way you bring them up from the floor, not like the way you did like this today, which is how if there's no unstable pelvis in the floor and you lean into the leg and you come up, but you do it like this. They have to come up like this and you have to just widen the knees a touch, not too much, because you don't want to unstable that pelvis and that seems you need to tuck the toes under and they need to come up like this, okay? And then they push up with their legs, okay? And that keeps their pel pelvis stable. Yeah? Okay, let's try it. So just, all right, so just come into kneeling. You need to widen the knees a little bit, not too much. Come onto the hands, turn the toes under, and then roll back onto the feet into sort of like, sort of a squat. Okay, and then push up. Okay.